introduction. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Chavez Aydou from Optimung and um, today's topic is how to boost e-commerce revenue using on-site retargeting, as you can see on the screen, hopefully. So a few words about myself. Uh, I've been in the e-commerce industry for more than 10 years. Uh, I've founded uh, several e-commerce related businesses and we have already created more than a thousand e-commerce sites up to date. Uh, we are not only um, web developers, but we also help e-commerce sites optimize their conversions and market their products. Um, what will you learn in today's uh, presentation? Uh, you will learn one of the most powerful, still one of the most unused conversion rate optimization techniques, which is called retargeting. Um, I will teach you why others leave your site without converting, without buying, and what can you do about it. You can also you will also learn uh, why the traditional uh, CRO uh, conversion rate optimization techniques can't help you all the way. Uh, what limits of of these uh, techniques? You will also learn how you can uh, recover your abandoning web visitors and uh, that's how can you increase your revenue. And I will also show you lots of real world examples, how the best e-commerce sites use on-site retargeting. And uh, you can see the hashtag there as well if you want to tweet about it. Now, uh, let's start the customer acquisition process of an e-commerce site. How you are getting uh, customers? Um, um, I guess you are using several traffic sources to get visitors. Uh, you are paying for some like Google AdWords, Display or Facebook Ads, and uh, you are also earning some tra free traffic from uh, organic sources uh, like uh, Google searches or social media or PR. From all of these sources, you are probably getting quite a lot of visitors, but only a very few percent of these visitors are actually buying. According to international statistics, uh, the average e-commerce conversion rate is about two to three percent, meaning that seven to ninety-eight percent of your visitors are leaving your site without buying, without converting, and it's really a huge part. Um, furthermore, only uh, six to eight percent of uh, your visitors will put anything into the into into the into your carts. And since, since two to three percent will actually finish the sale, it's, it, it, it means that 66 to 75 percent will abandon your site after they put something into your, into your cart. Now, why is that? Why do people leave your? Uh, is it about your products? Is it about your prices? Your marketing messages? Uh, are they not powerful enough? Or what can be the problem? Well. Uh, one of the uh, most important uh, problem is is that your visitors are different. When we are talking uh, visitors, I mean, they are real people with very different backgrounds, very different emotions, and very different problems. They might have a very different uh, expertise level in your field, and of course, uh, they can be in a very different uh, stage of their own buying process. Some of them are only a problem, while others are already considering to buy a solution, while others may be already evaluating solutions. Uh, and that's why the search related channels like Google or Bing or Yahoo are usually converting much better uh, than uh, the display uh, type is like uh, like display ads or, or, or social media. Since those who are already actively looking, uh, searching for a, for a term, for a product, are usually in a much advanced uh, stage of their own buying process. So, so you have of different visitors and, uh, and visitor groups and uh, and the truth is that these different groups usually respond to a very different kind of message. 
and if you want to maximize your conversion, uh, you would have to communicate to all these channels differently. Um, often our solution problem is to provide more options for them to choose from, to, to provide more menu items, to, to display more offers, to, to divide the page to more areas, to hedge your bets. But um, chances are that you already have uh, lots of uh, things to communicate, lots of messages. You have hundreds of categories, you have thousands of products, dozens of menu items, and only God knows how many uh, special offers. And if you are not careful, the end result could look like this one. <laughs> this page is an actually existing page. and. Um, uh, it's a great example of a website where the owner couldn't decide which offers he should neglect. So as you can see, uh, this tactic has great dangers. I mean, uh, with, with increasing the number of options, we also increase distractions. We divide attention. And um, one uh, very important rule of conversion optimization is uh, that distractions kill conversion. Um, take an example from real life. If uh, a friend of yours is talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, you will probably understand percent of what she says. But uh, should free friend of yours talk to you at the same time, chances are that you won't understand much of uh, most of what they are saying. And, and, and the same is true for your website. If you overhem your visitors with too many messages, they will often miss all of them. Um, there's a well-known study, there's, there's a well-known study that was conducted in France in the 2000s. In a supermarket, they set up a, a jam tasting store, a jam, a jam tasting booth to, uh, to offer different flavors of jams to their customers. And um, they compared showing only six different uh, kind of gems with uh, showing 24 different kind of gems. And the results are a kind of surprising. When they promoted only six different flavors, 12% of the visitors have actually purchased any gem. But when they increased the number of choices to 24, the conversion dropped to only 3%. And uh, well, that's uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, what does it mean? It means that if you over overhand your visitors with too many choices, they will often choose the easiest solution, which is not to buy anything from you. And um, but A-B testing and uh, heat mapping and other uh, conversion reductive techniques are, are, are very great in uh, finding the optimal number of, of options to show to your visitors. Uh, <coughs> uh, these techniques are usually about decreasing the number of options uh, to, this, to decrease the distractions. Uh, but with decreasing the number of options, you are betting heavily on messages. You decide which one you think will be stronger. And no, you are not hedging your bets, but you are betting everything on one horse. And this is what most conversion optimization techniques are about. To find your best message, to find the horse you bet everything on. But um, despite, your, despite your best efforts, uh, most visitors will not resonate with your message. They resonate with your message. And, uh, and most of them will not convert. And uh, um, this is where uh, re retargeting comes in handy. I mean, uh, retargeting, retargeting you, can, uh, you can reach your uh, visitors again. You can retarget them after they left your site. 
and uh, you can repeat your message if you like or even better you can communicate a different one you can try your second best message and um, and present it in a way that doesn't crowd your main or your original message um, I call this traditional retargeting off-site retargeting off-site because they are off your site they've left your site and you retarget your visitors after they've left your original uh, e-commerce site but there are limitations to this offset retargeting I mean you can reach a small part of your uh, visitors with it and you have to pay quite a lot actually for it so the question is why not retarget these visitors before they leave your website uh, on-site retargeting is about retargeting your visitors before they leave your site. It's about monitoring the behavior of your website, uh, um, the, the behavior of your visitors, and if their behavior indicates that they are about to leave your site, you can retarget them with the right message at the right moment. Uh, think so. so what kind of behavior can indicate uh, the exit intent? Uh, the most popular, uh, the most popular solution is about monitoring uh, the movement of the mouse, and if the visitor is moving the mouse out of the window with the right speed and the with the right velocity, the pop-up uh, will appear at the right millisecond. Uh, in fact, it is not a real pop-up, but an overlay, which makes it absolutely Google-friendly compared to traditional exit. So, uh, what is the right message you should communicate to your visitors? Um, well, it depends. It depends. Um, you can and you should communicate different messages based on where, uh, where do your visitors try to leave your site, and you should always show them the most relevant message. Uh, the most often message is about building your list. Um, if your visitors are not responding to your message and are not ready to be some reason, you should try to get at least uh, to get their to get their email email address. Sign up to receive our exclusive offers. You can make this up powerful if you um, if you use a giveaway, some free an ebook or something like that, uh, a free gift, for example, as a motivation for giving their email addresses. Uh, type of uh, offer can increase the conversion up to 200% uh, compared to the simply just sign up for our newsletter type of message. Or if you have no idea what kind of giveaway we do, you can always stick with the traditional amounts like 10% off or $10 off or free shipping or something like that. Uh, of course, you can not only use uh, on-site retargeting to, to build your list, but you can use it to redirect your visitors to some featured content of your site as well. For example, to some special offers. Uh, Udemy.com uses on-site retargeting to feature their most, the free most popular categories. So to urge their visitors to start, to start browsing. Uh, the same way you can use on-site uh, retargeting to, to promote your, your hot picks, your sales item, your, your feature products, your best offers. Um, uh, with it, you can increase the, the number of visitors who visit your, 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 your best offers, your feature site, up to 1,000%. It's, uh, it's very, very effective. Um, now, what should you communicate to those who, who have already put something into, into their cards and who are about to leave, who are about to abandon your site without finalizing 
their orders. Best converting messages here is uh, is to offer some kind of discount, like ten percent off. If you complete your offer, if you complete your order now, uh, it's even more effective. If uh, just in, in, as in the example, if you use some kind of timer with it, counting back back from ten or fifteen minutes. If uh, for some reason you do you do not want to uh, offer discounts, you can still use uh, use it to to communicate some other message, like uh, Booking.com does. Uh, don't miss your chance to stay at our hotel. Uh, lots of other people are looking, and if you don't hurry, it might be too late for you. Uh, so basically, they are using the urgency factor, uh, but you could use it to emphasize um, different aspect of your offer. You can uh, you can uh, hey hurry buy now. Uh, our stocks are limited, and if you don't hurry, some one other will buy it from you. Of course, uh, this type of uh, offering is effective as promoting some discounts, but it can still work very well. Um, now, uh, summarize what we've been talking about. So, with on-site retargeting, uh, you get a second chance to communicate with your visitor, to convince them. If your primary message is not working for some reason, you can try your second best message. This way, you can recover up to 20% of your last visitors, meaning up to 20% of your visitors will respond to the, to the right message. And you can use on-site retargeting to boost signups, uh, to uh, redirect traffic, or to decrease cart abandonment. Um, altogether, you can increase the number of conversions, the your conversion rate, and of course, you can increase your revenue with it. Uh, some, some, a few words about us uh, and about Optimunk. Optimunk is the leading on-site retargeting platform for small and medium e-commerce owners. Um, although we just started like a year ago. Uh, we already have uh, websites using uh, Optimunk, and we have won two awards with it as well. And I was uh, Chelo Zaido, uh, founder of and CEO of Optimunk. If you want to uh, try on-site re uh, retargeting on your own site, I recommend I recommend you give Optimunk a try. Uh, we provide a free two-week trial. And uh, we would be glad to give you all the support you may need. You may need uh, to set up the best converting uh, on-site retargeting campaigns on your website. Free to check out optimum.com, uh, where you can find case studies how others are using on-site retargeting on their site. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kasaba. Um, so, uh, we have a few questions from from our guest. Um, um, so, I just for for our listeners, um, this is the question um, and answer um, part of of the um, the webinar. And the first question is from Jeff. And um, Jeff says, "Can you guide visitors to other sections of your site with popovers or exit intent?" Um, um, exit intent um, pop-ups. Yeah, sure. Uh, as I told you, uh, you can redirect your traffic as you wish. Um, you can use um, a simple pop-over that and go to this other part of your website, or you can use uh, a multiple-choice pop-up as well with several options and like the Udemy.com example, uh, you could see that where you can you can promote like three or five of your most popular categories. You can promote your best products, most popular products, 
or or stuff like that. Okay, sounds good. Right. Um, second question is got to do with um, uh, this is from Andre. Andre asked if um, you can use exit pop-ups to get more social media follows. I, I guess it, you know, um, whether you could embed, um, um, you know, Facebook like button. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yes. Uh, you can include any uh, social media uh, buttons and uh, and uh, screens in in your in your pop-ups. Lots of our uh, several of our customers are using it to to show their uh, Facebook follower groups in the in these pop-ups and that hey come and like us or share share this content. So yes, uh, you can definitely use it for increasing social media following. Okay, okay. So, um, and then there's a final question here from June, and she's asking about um, what are the best ways to segment. Um, traffic and targeting with exit pop-ups. Well, uh, the most popular segmenting uh, um, parameter is where where uh, your visitors are about to leave your site. You can uh, target campaigns based on the URL where they are about to leave your site, but uh, there are several other options. Yeah. And uh, you can only show a message to someone if, for example, they've spent uh, 10 seconds or 15 seconds on your site, and you can, or or uh, for those have seen at least three pages, visited three pages or five pages on mm -hmm. your website, or if uh, they they are containing they are uh, containing some some kind of message. Uh, for example, uh, digitalmarketer.com uh, uses Optimong uh, that if you are reading a Facebook-related article, then you will get a Facebook-related message. Okay. If you are reading about uh, a social media or, or, or a blogging-related blog, blogging article, you will get uh, a pop-up related to blogging. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. So, so in, in the context of e-commerce, I, I presume um, you could you could base it on say categories. If you know um, visitors are in yeah. particular category, you serve yeah. them certain um, pom poms, and even if they're in your blog, you could um, you know um, get them to subscribe by um, you know giving them um, you know some 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 certain email subscription. Um, yes, you can. And, um, yeah, you could vary it um, quite often. Yes, you can. But, and what's even more, in e-commerce, you can segment uh, based on the the orders. Uh, mm. if, if they are, you know, a reserve, have they already is anything, uh, or you can you can uh, segment uh, target those who have already put something into their cart or those who have not put anything in, into their cart. You can uh, target those who who have uh, already ordered at least three times uh, from your e-commerce site. Okay, so, so does Optimon does Optimon um, integrate with um, with Magento and um, you know other e-commerce platforms to 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 the transactional level? Yes, uh, I mean uh, it's very easy to integrate uh, with uh, with uh, any e-commerce. Form. We are building up uh, our integration list uh, as quickly as we can, and there might be uh, uh, platforms that are not supported, let's say, but uh, not supported means that we are not ready with a, with a one-click application. You could install it, but you, you have to put the JavaScript code into your site yourself, and uh, you may have to uh, parameter parameterize it, you know, you, you have to set it up with unique parameters if needed. Uh, if if there, if you are using a Google Tag Manager, for example, then you can do it very easily. Or uh, well, if you are using uh, an e-commerce platform that we might not support yet, uh, just uh, send us a uh, uh, send us a message, and we will be more than happy to make this integration for you. 
Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I don't think that there are any more questions. Or at least I can't see any more questions. Um, if anyone wants to ask any any questions, feel free to to do that now, or um, I'll just wait for for a few seconds. If if um, there's no if there are no more answers, I would um, officially close this off. It's been an absolute pleasure, Kasava, you coming on the two X e commerce webinar, um, and um, Finally, people yeah. can check. Um, fantastic. Um, yeah, check out topteamock.com. Um, this is going much. to be, absolutely, and um, this is going to be recorded. Actually, this is currently recorded and will be shared um, with you again um, for reference by email. Um, thank you, everyone, um, for for making it to 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 to, to the webinar. Thank you. Okay. Bye.